Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Well, it's time for another Tools and Tech Tuesday, and a lot of you have been interested in the T-Mobile Home Internet Service. In a previous video in this series, we talked about how there can be a whole long list of links in the chain of events that has to happen in order for your device to make a connection with whatever server or other device that it's trying to connect to. And that's true whether you're binging some shows, scrolling through Facebook, or doing some online gaming. In the previous video in this series, we talked about how there are basically two links in that chain that you're able to control. The first one is the connection between your modem or gateway and your ISP, in this case, the T-Mobile Towers. As we talked about in that video, there's nothing you can really do to control what T-Mobile does with their towers. However, you can control where you place your gateway, what way you aim it, and that kind of thing. I'll link that video in the description for anyone who's missed it and wants to be able to see how you can use an app like OpenSignal to see where the nearest cell phone tower is. The other link in the chain that you can control is getting the signal from your T-Mobile gateway to your end devices such as your phone or your Xbox. T-Mobile claims that their new gateway has a better Wi-Fi signal than their old one, so I thought, why don't we check that out for ourselves? Trust but verify, right? <laughs> to do that, we'll be using an app that you can get for free from the Google Play Store called Wi-Fi Analyzer. Alright, we're downstairs on the main level. Let me tell you which Wi-Fi networks are which. MyTech is the Orbi routers, MyTech 2 is the new T-Mobile gateway, and MyTech T-Mobile is the old T-Mobile gateway. As you can see, the new T-Mobile gateway has a significantly stronger signal than the old one. The signal strength on all these networks does jump up and down and waver a little bit, just like you would expect with Wi-Fi. Alright, we're still on the main floor, but now we're in the living room. And I should point out that we are about equal distance from the Orbi router as we are to the two T-Mobile routers. So, what's interesting to me is not only is the signal stronger with the new gateway than it is with the old gateway, but it's also stronger than the Orbi router. Alright, so still on the main floor, now in the kitchen. And the situation is just about the same. All right, still on the main level, but we're now in the bathroom. And what better room to make sure that we still have Wi-Fi in besides the bathroom? And you can see that the situation is still just about the same. All right, now we're in the basement. And I have to say that I am impressed with the signal strength from the new T-Mobile gateway being stronger than even the Orbi router, which is closer, and it's through less floors than the T-Mobile gateway. So this is impressive to me. All right, so we're out by the garage now, and you can see that although it's wavering, the new T-Mobile gateway is still nice and strong. Now remember, that's the one that says MyTech 2. Now, my tech is actually stronger at this point, but to be fair, that's probably the access point that's out in the garage here. Well, there you go. As you can see, I'm pretty impressed with the Wi-Fi signal strength coming from the new T-Mobile gateway. In fact, the signal coming from the new T-Mobile gateway seems to be stronger than my Netgear Orbi, which is bananas, because the Netgear Orbi has an AC3000 access point built in. The new 5G gateway from T-Mobile is made by Nokia, and it's unfortunate that they took out some of the features that Nokia put into that thing. For instance, one of them is the fact that you notice that you don't see both a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz signal coming from that thing at the same time. I'm going to have to dig in the settings to see what's going on with that. Also, normally with other carriers such as in Europe, there's normally a little dot on that little screen on top that helps you line up and face the internal antenna facing towards the cell phone tower. That seems like such a great feature, I just don't understand why T-Mobile would take that out of there. I'm hoping that T-Mobile will update the firmware and add back in some of these features and allow us to customize this thing more for our own particular situations. 
overall, I'd say if you're looking into getting the T-Mobile home internet service, that this gateway will probably provide a pretty good Wi-Fi signal for most people. If you have a huge house or you have walls that are made of certain materials that might impede the signal from penetrating your walls, or maybe if you have a garage or pole barn that's pretty far away from the house, you may need a mesh router system. I personally have a Netgear Orbi system. The main router is in the house and there's a satellite in the garage connected with a CAT7 cable buried underground. But there's lots of options out there such as Ubiquiti, Eero, Google Wi-Fi, and you don't have to connect them with a wire like I did unless you want to or they're too far apart to get a good, strong, reliable signal wirelessly. But for most people in most situations, based on my own experience and talking to other people, I say go ahead and get this thing and it should work pretty well for you without you even having to get a separate router. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it useful and interesting. If you have any experiences with this thing or you have any questions for me, drop them in the comments. I'd love to talk to you down there. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. In a previous video, I the control what T-Mobile does with their towers, but you can control what, where, trust but bear, <laughs> trust but bear, <laughs> to do that we'll be using an app that you can get for free on the, to, to do that we'll, in fact, the signal from the, str in fact, the signal from, and that's true whether you're binging chum, <laughs> binging chum, <laughs> and that's true whether you're binging some.